Chapter 25 of The Life of Benjamin Franklin. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Ethel Bus. The Life of Benjamin Franklin by Samuel G. Goodrich. At this time, when the general complaint is that money is scarce, it will be an act of kindness to inform the moneyless how they may reinforce their pockets. I will acquaint them with the true secret of money catching, the certain way to fill empty purses, and how to keep them always full. Two simple rules, well observed, will do the business. First, let honesty and industry be thy constant companions and secondly spend one penny less than thy clear gains then shall thy hidebound pockets soon begin to drive and will never again cry with the empty belly ache neither will creditors insult thee nor want oppress nor hunger bite nor nakedness freeze thee the whole hemisphere will shine brighter and pleasure spring up in every corner of thy heart. Now, therefore, embrace these rules and be happy. Banish the bleak winds of sorrow from thy mind and live independent. Then shalt thou be a man, and not hide thy face at the approach of the rich, nor suffer the pain of feeling little when the sons of fortune walk at thy right hand. For independency, whether with little or much, is good fortune in place thee or even ground with the proudest of the golden fleece. Oh, then be wise, and let industry walk with thee in the morning, and attend thee until thou reachest the even hour for rest. Let honesty be as the breath of thy soul, and never forget to have a penny when all thy expenses are enumerated and paid. Then shalt thou reach the point of happiness, and independence shall be thy shield and buckler, thy helmet and crown. Then shall thy soul walk upright, nor stoop to the silken wretch because the hat reaches, nor pocket and abuse because the hand which offers it wears a ring set with the diamonds. End of chapter 25